Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm you going to be your Math 110 uh, instructor. My name is Wu Feng Tian. Okay, so I would like to give you a little bit introduction about this class and how we're going to run this course. Um, if you have any question, you can um, feel free to email me. My email address is w u f e n g dot t i a n just backwards the name wait the same name yeah same order and at uwc dot edu okay so first in the next few days um, before the first day you will need to buy the access code well you can I think you can find the access code from your uh, bookstore if you don't have it, I think you still can use a temporary access code for a for two weeks. Let's just say the course design. Uh, I'm not sure if you can log into your course page right now or not in D2L. If you can, you log into your course page. Let me make it this smaller since I'm not going to use it that too much today. So if you go to the course, you're going to say this is a course page, and then. We are not going to use the exam tree right now. Later, when we take the test, we will use the exam tree. But right now, you need to uh, go to my labs plus. Okay. So I have already put some information on uh, the news. Welcome to Math 110 class. Um, you can read through this uh, news. And what you need to do is it's very clear here. You need to complete a um, proof of participation this is really important okay all right so the first one is access code if you go to the uh, bookstore they will have it the second one is um, uh, you may use may use the um, temporary one for two weeks okay but after two weeks you will still have to purchase the access code to continue using the MyLabs Plus software second one you need to once you are able to log into D2L you will need to uh, finish the proof I think it's called proof of participation okay the proof of participation is really important. Uh, where is it? It's going to be in the, if you go to, make this small, a proof of participation. If you go to the discussion list, okay? Ask professor, inter uh, if you have question, you can ask me a question right here, or proof of participation, you can see here, uh, you should be able to do that. Just click proof of participation and start a new thread and it means you are in the class and you are ready to study. And if you don't finish that, you will be automatically dropped out from the class um, by after the first week, I think. Okay, so this is super important right now. You have to complete the proof of participation. You just uh, type a message Okay, uh, I'm in the class. Well, my name is what well, introduce yourself like that. Okay, second thing, I think let me check if there is a place for everyone to introduce yourself. If not, probably that's the place you can introduce yourself. I don't see any place introduce the, your, yourself, so probably you can use that to introduce yourself. Your proof of participation. All right, so uh, I also attached the course schedule. Okay, so how do you go there? You look that you can see Math 110 schedule. Math 110 schedule right here. You just click it. You can see your, this whole class schedule. Okay, so what do you need to do? You just need to look at this. You can print it out and post this course schedule in your studying area. You can look on the right side, September the 7th, the first day, after the first day you have a, a algebra pretest due, 
uh, September the 8th, or September the, uh, the 10th, every day you will have it's very clear, very straightforward what is due and on, on each day. So you print it out and post this ske schedule in your study area and maybe you can mark off the mark the calendar days. Whatever you will not be, you will not miss any assignment. It's very straightforward, very um, clear of the due dates for each uh, uh, assignment. Okay, so this is a course schedule. If you want to look at the course syllabus, you just need to go to course content. You can look at the course syllabus. Uh, I have my information right here. If you have an emergency, you want to contact me, you can call me, call my cell phone number. Otherwise, uh, you just email me. I should be able to get back to you within 24 hours. If it's an emergency during the test, you say, oh, professor, I need you to help me with this. Uh, something happened. Emergency, you, you can contact me um, at this number, Okay, my cell phone number. Um, also, you read this um, syllabus yourself and see if you have any question. If you have question, just email me. And this class we're going to have, I think this is important, we're going to have four written assignments. Later on, I'm going to post the, the written assignment. And uh, we don't have to worry about the written assignment uh, uh, right, right now. But most important, we're going to, you have to finish the MATLAB's Plus homework and the MATLAB's Plus uh, quiz. We're going to have two written exam, online written exam. Uh, very possibly, you can use your uh, formula card during the test, and we have one final exam. Okay, this is the exam percentage. Okay, you read the uh, syllabus if you have any questions. Uh, next, after you read through this, you can see in the course content. Uh, you click the main course count and you're going to see the course map and the topic one and all the topics. Topic one linear equation, you can read this and look at the examples. Okay, you can go to your MATLAB Plus, click that. You should be able to see, um, once you click in, you should be able to see the class you take. Like Math 110, you probably take any other classes. All of us use MATLAB Plus. So just click into Math 110. It probably ask you for the access code. Well, you can. Let me see. There is a place My Labs Plus. Okay, here. Accessing My Labs Plus course in Bright Place. What do you need? You go there. Okay. Once you log into the course, click it. Then you will have the second page. It goes to here. Click into course. It asks you the course home. What do you need to? You accept it. Okay, accept it, and then it asks you to um, put in your put your access code. You can purchase purchase the access code by now. It's pretty much like you purchase um, a anything online. You just provide the uh, credit card information, and uh, normally is it should be very simple, just like you purchase online product. So buy now, or you have already bought the access code from your bookstore. Then you can just type in the books, type in the access code, or you can choose pay later. Okay, if you choose pay later, you will you will automatically get, gives you. If you choose pay later, you will give you a temporary access to your course for 14 days without payment. You can do anything. You can work and use the uh, software, do your homework, everything in the software. But yeah, I think um, by the end of 14 days, uh, it will ask you to provide the access code to be able to continue. You will have to purchase either, either purchase the access code from the bookstore, or you can renew the um, access code online. Okay. All right. So uh, then, after that is done, after that is done, you return the course. And it will automatically brings you back to the course, and then you can go to the course. You will have you're going to have the same page like what I have here. Okay. So the next uh, in the first day, you are going to have um, you go you go to course home, and then you click homework. You can see homework quiz test. Well, you need to always click all assignment because it shows you sometimes you have a quiz, you have a homework, you have a test. So the first one, September the 7th, 
you will have a review for the pretest. Okay, review for the pretest, and this is just a uh, review for the previous uh, work you need to do, and um, it's just uh, I think most of them are just math one or five questions. Okay, you just finish these questions, this math uh, pretest review. You um then the let me see. Wait, uh, all assignments. Always click all assignments. It will show you. And then what you need, what is due is Math One Chang College Algebra Pretest. Okay, you can finish the pretest, and you start the test. You will have thirty questions. Okay, this thirty questions will basically will tells you how your background. This is not a officially test. You will not count as your test score. Okay, you will not count. You can finish one, zero out of uh, infinity. You can finish as many as you want. Okay, you will not count as your test. It's just a preview, a practice. Okay, but the from 1.1, which is due September the 8th, is going to be a uh, officially your homework. Okay, uh, the review for pretest and the college bro, college algebra pretest will not count as part of your score but you need to practice this and say what what is your weakness what is your um, how much you know about this course so I think you should start working you can finish that it doesn't matter how good you are on your pretest it's fine and then you need to start to work on the 1.1 assignment as quickly as possible okay so you're gonna have question 1 to question 20 if you have any questions, just let me know. I would think I will think um, probably I will record I will record lectures. Just use the uh, board, whiteboard, or use the um, screen to show you how to do some of the hard questions. Maybe not all of them, but many. I will create one lesson for each. So I create one video for each lesson. Again, if you have any question during this period, oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, the textbook, you do not have to purchase the textbook, you, but you can uh, purchase a hot, co a hot, cop hot copy from the Amazon or a bookstore. You can buy a used book, but it's not required, all is recommended. Okay, you can go, I think you can go to my course. There is some, wait, like that. If you go to the um, library, I think it's course tools, multiple multi media library. Nope. I mean, just give me one second. I should be okay. HTML. You go to course tools. You're gonna see HTML ebook, and you can click on your ebook, and it will give it will shows out your textbook. Probably I didn't log into that. You should be able to. Uh, Maybe it's just the um, this the HTML vision can be we used. Hmm. You should be able to save the uh, e version of your textbook. Let me go back and see what happened. You should be able to it uh, because this log into that and uh, homework quiz tools mod, my, my tools for success and uh, mathematics multimedia library okay uh, there's one thing you probably can, can use the multimedia library you go to the first chapter you can see uh, the section 1.1 you find it now we can select all you can see a lot of uh, materials you can see you can do first you can have your multimedia textbook you can click the textbook right here the section 1.1 I don't know why it doesn't see um, why you ask me that maybe it just doesn't allow me to do that you should be you should be able to to see the uh, e-textbook if you can just uh, uh, let me know okay then you have a video you watch the video you have example one you click it you have your video you can watch the 1.1 uh, example video okay you should be able to watch the video and also there is also a PowerPoint here just click it section 1.1 1 
PowerPoint. You can click a PowerPoint. You can use. You can watch the. You can uh, study the PowerPoint for section 1.1. It has 1.1 uh, PowerPoint. You can study that by yourself. Again, I will. Since this is a fully online class, we will not be able to meet each other every day like a face-to-face uh, -face class. But I will try my best to record uh, lectures for each lesson. Hopefully, it should be. Okay, I will uh, explain some hard problems. And if you have any question, just feel, e feel free to email me. You can, I think you should be able to get my email address from my webpage. Okay, this is my email address again. Or if you type in, if you just Google my name, and you can see my web page, and then it also has my personal information as well. If you just Google my name, you can also see you can also see my web page. Okay, it has my it, uh, it also has my information, my um, email address, office phone, and uh, the class I'm teaching. So that's basically um, I need I want to give you be before the class starts. Okay. Again, enjoy the last weekend and uh, the uh, Labor Day. After that, um, we're going to meet on the first day of the class. Not really officially, uh, not face to face, but most likely email or videos. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye bye.